All right, what's up guys? I'm gonna show you a quick alternative to the typical bypass that you'd be using on your Ram heavy duty trucks. This is a security gateway bypass that you would have to install before you use any kind of programmer. Basically, there's two plugs that you would unplug. Typically, they're located behind your instrument cluster and it's kind of a pain in the butt to get to. And once you get back there, you'd plug this in, then you're free to program. Once you would be done, you'd have to return everything back to factory. A quick way to avoid doing any of that is using this new style bypass that we have here. Basically, it's gonna give you an OBD2 port where you can plug your programmer into. The other end's gonna go into your existing vehicle's OBD2 port. And then you have two CAN connectors that are gonna get installed on the left-hand side of your dash, on the inside of your dash. So I'm gonna show you where to plug these into and uh, what I do to make my life easier. So on the left side of your dash, you have your light switch area, this little panel right here. This whole thing is just clipped in. And uh, to make my life easier, I like to just pop this out, pull straight back, and that will give you access to your star connectors. And that's the two green connectors that are back there. There's one right here and there's another set or another row right behind it. The one that's closest to us is the Can C. The one that's deeper in is the CAN IHS or CAN high speed. And looking at our harness here that we're gonna plug in, you can see they're labeled. One is CAN C, the other is CAN IHS. Basically, we just have to plug these into their appropriate spots in there. And uh, basically any free spot on any one of the CAN buses is fine. So what I mean by that is this one says CAN C. CAN C is the closest one to us. Any of those open ports, you can slide this in there and any of the open ports on the deeper one is CAN IHS. Plug this into there and you're done. You don't have to uninstall anything, you don't need any tools. But to make my life easier, because this is a temporary piece, I mean you could leave it in there if you wanted to, but I'm gonna be using it as a temporary part. So I'm gonna pull it back out of there, but these little tabs here can be kind of a pain to unclip and pull back out because it's kind of a restricted area in there. Um, so what I like to do is just this top little locking tab on these connectors, I just like to cut that off. It's like that, one and two. Now with the locks out, this allows me to freely slide those in to their spots and when I'm done, I'll just pull it straight out. You can stick your hand through this hole if you feel like you can fit your, your hand and the connector and everything in there. I'm just gonna use this to view as I plug in the two connectors. All right, so right here I have the CAN C connector. All right, so we'll slide this in here. Then I'll grab the other side, which is the CAN IHS. And that one is in place. All right, now all I'm left with are the two OBD2 ports. We got the male and the female. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that one into the vehicle. Now I'm left with this port, now I'm free to run my programmer into the truck. Once this is done programming, I can just uh, unplug those two connectors up there, unplug this, and I'm good to go.